What is good, this is the family. It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'll break down what's happening with earnings affecting the markets, which you should be watching for in the economic calendar. What news is affecting the markets in Tesla, what you should be watching for on the charts. But before I break down all this information, before I get into any more details, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed up to 15 free stocks, and the offer ends very soon. Anyways, guys, looking at the market, Tesla got this nice breakout that we were talking about. And this is what I predicted yesterday. I told you that Tesla should be approaching this resistance i predicted we'd see this thing hit 190 very soon and that's exactly where tesla is making a very very nice move to the upside also spy is very close to about 496 right now very close to expectations i think we're at 496 so it's looking very bullish it's very very insane so i'm going to break down more details about spy tesla and these tickers in just a minute let's just go over this data very quickly so we had alibaba's earnings don't forget later on today so alibaba's just came out and then later on today after the market closes we have paypal and disney announcing their earnings so be prepared for that alibaba missed on revenue but they announced a 25 billion dollar buyback which is once again very good but it wasn't really enough to offset the downside that came to the share price so it is bad that they missed on revenue their guidance was just so so not the strongest not the weakest but the buyback program was pretty good and that helped them not really tank as hard so once again they are dropping it's bad that they missed on revenue earnings was so so not the best and that's how i would basically determine it for data Exports for December for the U.S. came out at $258 billion, whereas imports were at $320 billion. The difference was $62 billion. The market is pumped since this data came out, so very close to what we got previously. But there's not really much else coming out except for some Fed speakers. So starting at 11 o'clock a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have a bunch of Fed speakers announcing their speeches, saying a bunch of things about monetary policy. Historically, Kugler, Collins, and Barkin tend to be kind of in the middle they're not too hawkish, not too dovish. I showed the chart yesterday. And then, so don't expect too much craziness between 11 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. But at 2 p.m., I want to warn you to be a little careful because Bowman is going to be giving a speech and he's known for being a hawk. He tends to say things that are more stringent, that uh, are more strict on monetary policy. So watch and see what he causes at 2 p.m. I just want to give you guys that warning. As far as the Fed goes, uh, the Fed is going to cut rates, but we're still determining when. That is still making headlines. Disney is no stranger to ambitious crossover events, and the company's ESPN network partner will basically uh, announce a partnership with Fox, Warner Bros., and et cetera for a joint streaming programs. So that could be very, very big. This could be big for Disney because once they have access to more streaming, this could incentivize more sales. On top of this, the National Transportation Safety Board is releasing a report on what's going on with the Boeing 737 MAX planes. Uh, that's coming out. They said that they were missing some bolts when there was the issues. Uh, that's important. The credit card debt is a big issue in the U.S. Delinquencies have spiked more than 50%. The New York Federal Reserve said we're at $17.5 billion for consumer debt so far. So those are making some headlines. For Tesla, Tesla owners are told not to wear their Apple virtual reality headsets while driving. That is very obvious. You should not be doing that, if anything. I know this is making a lot of headlines because of some pranks that came out, but just want to make it clear, guys, drive safely. Don't do that. Don't wear any of those VR headsets while driving. On top of this, Tesla announced pricing in Chile for the Model 3 and Model Y. It's more affordable than expected. And this is good news, basically, because Tesla is giving us more and more uh, details and you can see the prices are right here right over here you can see the starting prices of the model y is going to be about forty five thousand. it's different with chilean pesos but this is just showing you it and then we also have about forty two thousand dollars for the model 3 that's good news because tesla's expanding around the world growing like crazy tesla's mexico ramp is hiring for sales services and delivery jobs which is good news for them they're growing in mexico as well and that's going to help Tesla boost their sales and such. Elon Musk also mentioned that China is very competitive. He said that the Chinese companies have lots of growth potential. He didn't call anyone out specifically, but he said that they're very successful and uh, other things like that. So that's good. Besides that, now I just want to focus on the charts. It is kind of late right now, so I'm going to be kind of quick with this part. So looking at Tesla, I predicted this thing would break out. We got the breakout. We're now testing 
190 to 190.5 is a key resistance. If we break this, we're going to be pushing up towards basically 192. And above that, we could be making our way up to about 194 up in this resistance zone right here. So let's see if this thing can break 190.5 or not. If you reject, watch 188 as key support, 186 and 184. Tesla could either shuffle here, depending on if we reject or not, or we could just kind of start pushing a little higher. If we break this, we could push higher towards the mid 190s. We could make our way up towards about 194. If we continue to break above 192, we could push up more and then kind of consolidate up here for some time. The chart is looking bullish, making higher highs and higher lows, getting a bullish breakout from the wedge we called out yesterday. So we're going to be looking to see if this could break 190.5. There's a good chance it's going to try to do so, then consolidate after that. The chart looks bullish. Remember, we predicted this yesterday. We said Tesla should try pushing towards 190 yesterday, and that is what ended up happening. So we called this move. Not saying I'm always correct. I make mistake, mistakes, guys. But this is what happened. SPY looks bullish. We're breaking our all-time high right now. We're testing 496, the exact level we called out yesterday. Nice accumulation structure. We keep breaking out. Watch 497 is key resistance. If you break that, 499 is going to be our next target. For support, if we break back down, watch 496 as support. If we lose that, we could return to 494 and eventually uh, 493.5 and then 492. Right now, the chart looks bullish. It's trying to break out, breaking the all-time high, hitting new territory. So let's see if we could try to continue to push and get closer to 497. SPY is looking bullish so far, still holding out nicely, still pumping. So this is favoring the bulls for now. So watch resistance levels carefully, but be careful later on during the day with the Fed speakers and Bowman giving the speech, by the way. I'll talk more about that later. The QQQ is trying to break this yellow trend line right here at 430. If we keep breaking out, watch 432. Watch support at 429, 427, and 425. Overall, the QQQ is looking bullish, trying to break out as well. Let's see if this thing can try to hold above 430. This is going to be a big test for it. The resistance is very tight up here, so we'll see if it holds. If it manages to do so, 432 is a real possibility. For NVIDIA, NVIDIA looking pretty decent. We're currently just barely above 680. Uh, we are shuffling and kind of trading sideways. So watch support at 680, 675. And then below that, we have this yellow trend line at 669. Watch resistance at about, let me just double check this, uh, 685-ish, like just under that. We have 687, 692, followed by 700 for tight resistance. And video looks to me like it might kind of, it's forming kind of like a bullish wedge here. So technically speaking, it could break out a little higher. It could hit, uh, get very close to the 690s. So we could be looking for a push towards this resistance right here. Uh, it's forming a nice bullish structure, so it could attempt to break out. We'll have to see if it manages to do so. Uh, but we'll see if the pattern pans out or not. It is attempting to push higher. If it does push higher, this could help the QQQ a lot. So we'll see if we get that move. Uh, if, if it fails to do so, watch resistance at 684. 684 to 685 area if we break out of this we're going to be pushing to the 690s so watch that resistance nvidia is still showing some life holding up nicely last but not least for apple apple right now so i've been saying that apple has a nice inverse head and shoulder structure as you can see there's an inverse head and shoulders that's playing out nicely Apple's going to be testing 191. If we break that, 192 is coming next. Watch support at 190.5. If we lose that, 189 is coming. Overall, Apple's looking bullish. Nice uptrend. is looking very, very healthy. This is exactly what we predicted. I said 190 should be coming on Apple. It's going to break 190. That's what's ha happening. And if we break 191, 192 is coming next. So that being said, thank you all so much for listening. I want to cut this video from here because I have to upload this as fast as possible. Have a great day. Remain calm, cool, and collected. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Tesla in the market is the one because the long term is very bright. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks again and peace out.